For the past nine months, I've been experiencing something that I've never had to deal with before. I've been having pretty severe eye strain almost every single day. Let me explain. Let's go back to July 2020, the summer of quarantine. Because everyone was at home and I didn't have any classes, I had a ton of free time. I was looking for something to do, so I picked up Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn series. This is when I discovered fantasy books for the first time and I was immediately hooked. For the first few days, I spent five to six hours every single day of reading. One morning, I pulled out my Kindle Oasis to do some reading and I noticed that after a few seconds of trying to read, my vision would go blurry. I would close my eyes, shake my head, and try to read again, but the same thing would keep happening. After a few seconds, the text would fade out of focus, and I'd get some pretty bad pain behind my eyes. Basically, what happened was I had strained my eyes so much that I was literally unable to focus on anything close to me for more than a few seconds. This lasted for a week where I couldn't use my computer, phone, or really anything at all. This made me pretty scared, and I had no clue what was happening. I didn't know if it was permanent, and if it was, how was I supposed to do my classes. I'm a computer science major. Literally everything I do is online. After a few days, I had basically come to terms with the fact that I thought I was going to go blind. This was obviously an overreaction, and luckily a few days later, I saw my eye doctor, who explained to me that this was a severe case of eye strain. He then taught me the mechanism, symptom, and solutions to eye strain. If you guys use technology or do any kind of reading, I'm sure you felt that characteristic feeling of pain or pressure behind your eyes during the day. That's eye strain. In this video, I'm going to break down the causes of eye strain and take you through a step by step procedure that you can use to mitigate most of the painful symptoms. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice. I'm just speaking from my own experience and what has worked for me. Before looking into any treatment, consult your ophthalmologist for proper guidance. So what is eye strain and what causes it? Well, whenever you look at something, a few different things happen. First, your pupils will either constrict or dilate. They will either open or close based on how much light they want to let in, determined by your environment. If it's dark, they'll dilate to let more light in. Conversely, if it's bright, they'll constrict to prevent too much light from flooding your eyes. The second thing that happens when you look at something is that your eyes will change shape to focus at different distances. Try this out. If you bring your hand up in front of your face, focus on it, and then move back and forth, you should be able to feel your eyes changing shape and moving around. This movement is caused by your ciliary muscles and your extraocular muscles, and these are the muscles that are strained when overused, which creates general eye strain. Basically, if you do close reading or use your computer for an extended period of time, you can overwork these muscles. Your eyes are under constant tension while reading because of how intense it is, due to how close you're focusing and the speed of eye movements. This causes your eyes to fatigue, thus causing eye strain. So what are some activities that actually cause this? Well, as we just discussed, reading for an extended period of time definitely creates eye strain. This could be reading physical books or really anything on a computer screen. Close reading is what caused that severe eye strain I had nine months ago. Another activity that causes eye strain is extended use of electronic devices for the same reasons. If you look at your phone right in front of your face for hours every single day that completely overuses your eyes. Anytime you feel that characteristic pressure in your eyes, the urge to blink and look away, and other eye pain, think about what you've been doing all day and how you've stressed your eyes. Now that we've discussed what causes eye strain, let's talk about some potential solutions. First of all, it's really important to take frequent breaks. If you spend too long staring at your phone and computer, your eyes can start to spasm, thus causing some pretty bad pain. This is why you should follow the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. By doing this, you're letting your eye muscles rest and relax, therefore helping the eye strain. You could also try the eye exercise called called cupping, which is performed like this. You warm up your hands because heat relaxes your muscles. Then you put them on your eyes like this. This allows your eyes to focus on the darkness, which allows your muscles to relax. You can hold this for around 30 seconds to a minute if you feel some eye strain. Regularly taking breaks is really hard to remember to do unless you use a timer or some sort of app. You can find dedicated Mac apps that remind you every 20 minutes to look away, or you could use a Pomodoro timer. If you're following the Pomodoro technique, that five minute break is a great time to close your eyes or look in the distance. To be honest, stopping every 20 minutes is kind of annoying. It actually breaks my focus because I can usually go longer than that without taking a break. However, it is necessary because otherwise I'll start to strain my eyes pretty quickly. The second tip to prevent eye strain is to adjust your computer screen to a more ergonomic position. One cause of eye strain is glare off of your desktop or laptop monitor. When the sun reflects off of it, the light can become concentrated and directly directly enter your eye. The problem with this is that your eyes become flooded with light so much that it becomes difficult to manage and see. This can strain your eyes because it forces you to squint to make out the text on the screen. You should adjust your monitor so you can give it a high five and you're looking directly at the three-fourths mark. If you're watching a movie or playing video games, you might want to adjust it so you're staring directly into the middle. If you have a laptop, you should use a laptop stand and a wireless keyboard and mouse. This will move it into the proper position which will help your eye strain and your ability to see. My third tip is to adjust the settings on your computer. First, you should increase the font 
font size so it's easier to read text. You can press Command plus or minus to easily do this in most applications. If you go into the accessibility section of your settings on your phone, you can adjust the text size accordingly. Blue light from your screen can also cause eye strain, so it's important to use blue light blockers or turn on the warm light on your device. For me, I mainly do this in the evening because blue light can interfere with your sleep by preventing melatonin release. You should also turn off the lights around your house to help fall asleep. Tip number four is to blink more frequently and use eye drops. When we're focused on something, our blink rate drastically decreases. This is because our eyes are connected to our brain and intense focus causes staring. During conversation, we blink around 20 times per minute. However, when using electronic devices, that can actually drop to four times per minute on average. That's a 5x decrease. This is why your eyes dry out frequently while using your computer. You should be using eye drops two to three times per day while also consciously trying to blink more. I always have a small bottle of eye drops in my backpack and on my desk at all times, so this process is extremely easy. My final tip is to take a long break every 90 minutes of studying. If you go on a walk or complete a mechanical activity like exercise or yoga, it can really help rest your eyes. When you walk, your eyes naturally look in the distance and lock on object to object, moving left to right and vice versa. First of all, this act completely relaxes the muscles responsible for focusing. However, another benefit is that your brain will literally start to consolidate memories while doing this. You'll retain the material you studied better and you'll be fresh for another session of deep focus in the future. I like to schedule my day like this. Every 30 minutes, I'll look in the distance for about a minute before returning back to work. Then every 90 minutes, I'll take a longer break of 15 to 20 minutes. I try to avoid doing anything too engaging during that time, because I want to allow my mind to rest and recover for more focus in the near future. This means don't look at anything emotionally charged like social media or the news. If you do this, your mind will focus on these things while you're trying to get work done later on. Additionally, you don't want to create any unfulfilled social obligations by sending texts or checking email. If you check your phone and someone messages you, but you don't respond, that will stay in your mind when you try to work later in the day. The best thing to do when taking a break is some sort of physical activity, like walking, playing basketball, or even shuffling a deck of cards or solving a Rubik's Cube. One final thing I wanted to mention is how important an annual eye exam is. One thing that contributed to my severe eye strain last summer was that I was using the wrong prescription glasses, and I had no idea. I hadn't gotten my eyes checked in a long time. This is why it's so important to schedule a yearly appointment with your ophthalmologist just to make sure everything's okay. Hopefully those five tips along with that final message help reduce your eye strain. As students and people working in tech, we spend a huge amount of time on the computer which is not great for your eyes. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this video right here where I explain how to finally fix your sleep schedule for university. Thank you for watching, a like would be incredible, and I will see you in the next video.